everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how I learned Python. First, you need to know what is Python. Python is a popular programming language and it can be used on a server to create web applications. That means if you learn Python well enough, then you can make a real app on top of your iPad and iPhone all by yourself. It's really cool. Let me show you how I got involved in this. So I found a website called w3schools.com and it includes all the programming language you can know. For example, HTML, C CSS, JavaScript, Python, Java, PHP, how to, C++, C Sharp, everything you can name. So I found Python and I tried learning it because I literally got involved in it because I saw some kind of ad that someone is really cool doing python stuff and i wanted to try to learn it even though i was small so i started learning it and in the end it was quite simple i followed all these steps and i realized how cool this website is it has everything that you can name for example casting numbers strings buildings operators lists tuples sets everything you can name i learned nearly all of these and i understand nearly everything Using all this knowledge, somehow in the first days, I created an app by myself. It's called Python Guess the Number Game. I used it on Google Collab, or Google Collab for short. This is the app I made. I know it seems quite simple, and some of you might think it's really hard, but it's actually really, really simple. Let me teach you how this works. Firstly, I want to teach you how you play this. First, the computer will think of a random number between 1 and 100, and you'll try to guess it. You have five chances. If you guess it right, then the computer will congratulate you. If you got it wrong, either if your guess is too high, then it'll, the computer will say it's too high, and if you guess it too low, then the computer will say you guessed too low. When you reach your guess limit, then you will not be able to guess again. And you can check back here at, in the code to see what the number was. So, let me teach you what these lines of code are. First line, import random. Number random equals to whatever. You might not understand it. We, the, this is the code that the computer updates a new code which is the number and he guesses a number between 1 and 100 using this code called random point randent and i named the variable number random so this is the total guesses like in the start you didn't guess anything yet so we'll have to set the guesses to zero and this is a variable too and now here's a new trick this is a while loop while loop it's really cool it's just like App Inventor while loops, like loops that you repeat things over and over again, but just in Python. So here, while total guesses is smaller than five, that means you haven't guessed yet, or you haven't reached your guess limit yet. And then we'll have, we set a variable called guess number, which will make you input a number between one and 100. Of course, the computer will also print out the words for you to easier understand. And here is a cool command too. It's called the if then else. Or if else and else if, if you call it for short. This, this is a real function. You can use it in Python or App Inventor I, as I taught you. So here, if guess number is equals to number random, which is the random number, that means your guess is is right, that means it's equal to the random number, then the computer will print out your guess that right. And here's a cool trick. You can type F in front of the bracket and behind the open quotation mark, and then you can do this code and you can put the real random number right here without typing anything else. It's really convenient and cool. And it'll congratulate you and you'll be super happy. 
if you guessed it wrong, there are two options, either too high or too small. So if you, your guess is too high, then the computer will print out too high, try again. And if you guess too low, then of course the computer will print out too low, try again. And finally, it, we have to add the total guesses. Remember, we still have the variable called total guesses, which is basically our total guesses. And if we can't always set it to zero, then you would have in, infinity guesses. And that is definitely not right. So each time at the end of the loop, we have to add one guess. That means this whole loop runs one time, then it's one guess. Until you reach five guesses, then you may not be able to guess again. And if you really can't guess, then go back to the code and hover above one of these number random or this then you could see what your random number was. And you see right here, my random number was 41. So let me try this code for you. You press this button to run. So the computer will print out, guess a number between one and 100. For me, I know a secret code, I'll do 50. And then it'll print out, your guess is too high. That means my number is too big. That means my number is small, is bigger than the random number. So I had to try again. So this is already one guess, which now total guess is equals to one. And I can repeat over and over again. And I can try to guess this, but if I guess it wrong, then I might be able to lose. And if I lose, then I could check here. Number random, and look, my number was 27. I couldn't guess it, so I have to check the number here. <laughs> Good luck guessing it. Thank you.